Garuda Aerospace has said that the primary purpose of its Vajra UAV is on surveillance capability. However, a combat specific variant will be developed later with the availability of internal bay if demanded by the Indian Air Force. A wind tunnel model is already undergoing simulations with positive results, and the company is looking to conduct the first flight of the Vajra in September 2023. The first prototype will be battery operated but the later prototypes and production variant will be integrated with turbojet engine developed by Hindustan Aeronautics. Aviation Wall has released a footage, in which a FOC standard Tejas Mark 1 aircraft that is being used as a testbed for Tejas Mark 1A program is seen carrying out a flying sortie. The Tejas Mark 1A testbed had conducted its first flight in June 2022, and the Mark 1A testbed shows a new radar warning receiver developed by Bharat Electronics Limited, and a number of sensors, and is equipped with upgraded UTAM radar with 912 transmit receive modules. The Indian Air Force chief has said that the induction of Tejas Mark 1A will start from February 2024 onwards. The Director General of the Aeronautical Development Agency has said that the twin-engine deck-based fighter jet being developed for the Indian Navy will not be a fourth-generation aircraft, but a fifth-generation minus fighter jet. The fifth-generation minus term was coined by the Chief of Staff of US Air Force for a new lightweight aircraft that will incorporate some of the technologies from the F-35 and will eventually replace the F-16. The Indian Navy will procure 45 TED BF in the 5th generation minus standard, but the Navy will procure over 55 TED BF aircraft in later batches, that will likely to be classified as a 5th generation aircraft. Saga Defence Engineering and UAE Edge Group has signed an agreement to jointly develop a 12.8 meters unmanned surface vessel that can be configured to support a range of information-related duties such as mine countermeasures, anti-submarine warfare, as well as intelligence surveillance and reconnaissance missions. Edge Group will provide a transfer of technology for the program to the Saga Defense 120 unmanned surface vessel that features propulsion system delivering speeds above 55 knots, and comes with a remote weapon station with 12.7 mm gun, and sensors on board mission systems cameras and other equipment. Countries from European Union are discussing the development of a strategic heavy transport aircraft by 2026, and the European Union will also approach friendly countries like India, that are operating Russian heavy class transporters, that might be interested in joining the program. The strategic transport aircraft will be bigger than the Airbus A400M Atlas, and the aircraft will be offered to like-minded countries to join in as project member or as launch customers. The Indian Air Force has dispatched five Mirage 2000 fighter jets, two C-17 Globemaster III and one IL-78 mid-air refueling aircraft and a contingent of 145 air warriors to Royal Air Force's Waddington Air Force Base in the United Kingdom, to participate in Exercise Cobra Warrior from 6th March and 24th March in which air forces of US Finland Sweden South Africa and Singapore will be participating. The exercise aims to participate in diverse engagements, and learn from the best practices of various air forces. Bharat Electronics Limited and Israel Aerospace Industries have signed a memorandum of agreement to form a joint venture, that will have its headquarters in New Delhi, and will provide long-term life cycle support services for MR SAM air defense systems in the country, and provide the required technical and maintenance support to the Indian Armed Forces. Oh,